day. $20,000 costs at your age. For more information, contact the Miami or Fort Lauderdale office of American Republic Insurance Company. Thank you, Big. I met a man from American Republic when I was up at Permashine last uh, Saturday, and he was just as nice as he could be and didn't try to tell me anything, which I thought was great. Well, I think that sort of uh, speaks for itself. It sounds like a marvelous deal. Uh, we have a talker who wants something for Christmas. Uh, let me talk to you about Barnett Hardware, as long as we're doing Christmas. How about a nice gift certificate from Barnett? What's today? Tuesday? They're open until 6 o'clock. 8 to 6. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 8 to 6. And new hours for you on Monday and Friday. Monday and Friday both, 8 in the morning till 9 o'clock at night, and open on Sunday from 12 to 5. And boy, if you can't find something in Barnett Hardware for a gift or a gift certificate in any denomination, I'll be surprised. And they wrap the gift certificate, a nice distinctive gold foil put in a box, you know, and in any denomination you want. Uh, what are they featuring at Barnett, you say? How about that Club Aluminum Roaster? Uh, pretty uh, timely for the holidays. Forty-four ninety-nine. It's on sale for twenty-two forty-nine. You can figure that's half price. That's that uh, heavy cast aluminum. That's so nice. And they had an art sale with framed, uh, not uh, not uh, paintings, but uh, lithographs and uh, pictures and prints and uh, wall decorations, things like that. Uh, that was going on uh, through Sunday. Now it may still be on, but everything that was on sale was half price. They're all one of a kind. They might have some of those left, framed and matted, ready to hang too. Uh, Pyrex on candle. You know how I love that. The Samsonite Bridge chairs and table. We got some extra company coming. Special price on that. Many unadvertised specials in the store at Barnett Hardware, 100 East Hallandale Beach Boulevard. If you don't like to shop, you will like to shop at Barnett Hardware, and that's the truth. You're a part of the Big Wilson Show at Someplace Special, WIOD. All right, one more question. Now, what would you like for Christmas? Hello, Dick. Yeah, hi. Hi there. This is Marcia. Hi, Marcia. Um, it's good to talk to you. Well, it's good to talk with you, Marcia. Have a merry Christmas. And you too, my dear. Thank you. Uh, what I'm calling about is, I think it's really nice to give a Christmas gift that means something like very, very dear to the person, like something from their past that they loved. For example, my brother loved a book when he was just a little boy called Scuppers the Sailor Dog. And you know how all your toys from your childhood somehow get given away? Yes. Well, I've been trying to find it. And it's out of print, unfortunately. But if any of your listeners would know of this book, you know, if they could put me in touch with it, I'd love to get it. All right. Tell me the title once more. Tuppers, the Sailor Dog. Tuppers? Tuppers. Tuppers. Oh, okay. Okay. Tuppers, the Sailor Dog. Right. All right, dear. If anybody knows, I'm sure they'll call. And thank you very much. Oh. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. That's nice. Well, we talk at our house, and I suppose you do at yours, and I uh, um, have mentioned this before, I'm sure, that we like to uh, give things, if we can, of, uh, as that lady once said, of yourself a little bit. Um, uh, J.J. always makes, my son, always makes something for his mother. And In fact, last year we got some uh, clock, some of those battery clock works, you know, and we took some plates and cut holes, and uh, he made all the gifts that he gave last year. And I think that's really nice, because... Yeah, you can go to the store and buy something, and here it is. But to, to take some time and put a little love into it, that's uh, a little nicer, I think. It's a personal thing. Look at here. It's 132 at WYLD. Time I put in my call to Santa Claus. Hello, this is Santa Claus wishing you joyous Noel. That's how the people of French-speaking Canada say Merry Christmas. Today I'm in Quebec province, where families have many special Christmas customs. The day before Christmas, the people traditionally eat pea soup. It's mighty good, but they're waiting for the big feast after church on Christmas Day. Can you hear the fiddler? <laughs> the children are dancing to his music round and round the tree with its beautiful angel on top. Then they'll open their gifts. <laughs> it's cold up here in the north, so I bring them warm things, little red mittens, snuggly scarves, and because children love to play in the snow, I give cases to Suzanne and Pierre snowshoes and skis. Oh, 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 now it's time to go off in my sleigh. Call me tomorrow when I'll be in Czechoslovakia. Fairly modern and yet quite lovely indeed. Boney M. Boney M. I know, that's the name of the group. Mary's boy child, a slant line, oh my lord, is what it's called. I just had a call. said, I'm, uh, my name is Stottlemyre. I live in, uh, what did he say, Jamaica, West Indies? Did he say Jamaica? Oh, boy. I think so. Anyway, he said, I, the first thing I do when I come over here about 20 times a year is rent a car and turn you on. That was really nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's good. Give Big Wilson a call right now at Someplace Special. 
WIOD. We have a lady who needs some help here. Let's see if we can uh, do something good. Hello, Big. Hi, Big. How are you? Oh, I'm just fine, thank you. I'm so full of the Christmas spirit, and you're helping so much. Thank you. You don't know where we can get a Fanny Farmer cookbook, do you? I sure don't. Okay. I've got my own problem. <laughs> okay. As far as recipes are concerned, about two years ago, I made wine jelly, and I got the recipe in the Certo, with the Certo bottle. All right. And I bought the Certo just a few days ago and bought some pretty new jars, and I was going to make some wine jelly, and I opened up, and they've got new packaging now, and a recipe for wine jelly. Oh, boy. And you've lost yours, of course. I've lost mine, yeah. and I want to do it. I give things like this to all my boss and the people that I work with and things like that. But all right. Well, maybe somebody is a saver and has that... Uh, it came from the Certo uh, box, you said? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, wine jelly sounds good, too. Oh, it's delicious. All right. Good. All right, let's see if we can not find it for you. Thanks so much. Uh, thank you. Yes. Bye-bye. The recipe for wine jelly. Well, let's pass it on if you got it. Frank Sinatra, a man and his music. Live, on stage at the Sunrise Musical Theater, December 29th through 31st and January 3rd through 7th. Come fly with me. Celebrate New Year's Eve with Frank Sinatra at the Sunrise Musical Theater. Tickets are available at the box office and tickets by phone at 741-8600. Dinner theater packages are also available. For information and reservations, call 741-8600. That's life. Following Frank Sinatra into Sunrise, the incredible Mitzi Gaynor, January 16th through 21st. Oh, lovely, lovely. Uh, if you have an emergency or an accident over the holidays, here's a 610 tip. South Florida hospitals are on duty 24 hours, of course, to take care of you. Why not jot down the number of your nearest emergency room? And the Miami-Dade Community College's Outreach Department, you can call them at 685-4345. Find out how you can go to college in your own neighborhood. Sounds good. Speaking of neighborhood, uh, you, would you prefer to shop at a neighborhood store rather than at a, one of the great monstrous stores where it's kind of impersonal? How about Carpet Masters in Fort Lauderdale? Well, they don't make the carpet, but they certainly make a difference. Uh, they have the same merchandise as the big stores, but they got lower prices. In fact, I have a note here that says they have super low prices with a tremendous selection. And, of course, all this work is done for you by professionals. Whatever you need in floor covering, depending on availability, they'll have it for you in time for Christmas if you like that. They have name brand sheet vinyl, Armstrong, Mamington, Congolium, GAF. They have carpeting, ceramic tile, wood flooring, uh, padding and installation, by the way, at cost. And if you don't need it, you don't have to buy it. They will not sell it to you. I kind of think that's a good idea from Carpet Masters. That's that personal touch that is so nice in, a, in an outfit like this. A large selection of super low prices at Carpet Masters, and they'll, they even do power uh, carpet cleaning for you, professional carpet cleaning. Huge selection, lower cost, and big-name carpet stores with that friendly, personalized service. That's what you like? Then call Carpet Masters in Fort Lauderdale. Broward, the number is 491-6644. Gretchen's good news coming up on WILD in a couple of minutes. Wait a minute. Uh, hello, do you have the jelly? Hello? You do have the jelly. Wait a minute. You and Big Wilson on the phone together at Someplace Special, WIOD. Yes, hello, you're on the air. Why don't I hear you? We have a bad connection here. Hold on, dear. Hold on, don't go away. Bad connection, so I'll get that off the air for that lady. The wine jelly. You listen to Dr. Hook, and then we'll have Gretchen's good news on WIOD. Okay, I have a Fanny Farmer cookbook, if that lady will call me. And I have the uh, wine jelly uh, uh, recipe, if that lady will call me. I think that's all the problems we had today. And that's a good thing, because Gretchen's Good News coming up. Christmas is on its way, and to help you celebrate, the 78 great shops of the 163rd Street Shopping Center are staying open till 10 o'clock each and every day of the week. Santa's there, too, to pose with you and your children. Bring your own camera. This Saturday, the 163rd Street Shopping Center proudly presents the Merry Mummers Spectacular. Don't miss it. Do all your Christmas shopping at the 163rd Street Shopping Center, where there's always plenty of free parking. Thank you, Big. And now, with her good news, a lovely blue printed blouse, a, a gorgeous, a gorgeous uh, brooch, and a just an off-point jacket. Here's the very lovely Gretchen Graham with Gretchen's Good News. Good afternoon, your bigness. Good afternoon, your brochness. <laughs> I have a follow-up story today about a very courageous elderly lady. Oh, all right, all right. Hey, everybody. 
Let's go to the Dodge. Where? At Biscayne. You bet it's a great idea. More people in Florida go to the dogs than to any other sport. And why not? A great afternoon or evening. Yours for just 50 cents grandstand, $1 clubhouse. Great fun, great food, six great ways to play, including the $6 trifecta box. Night at 8, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 1, I-95 at 115th Street. Hey, thank you very much. Right, bye-bye. Okay, uh, it's Gretchen's good news, Gretchen. I uh, The man was talking about Fanny Farmer Cookbook. I guess they're all over the place. Ooh. Yeah. I like candy. I do, too. Darn it. <laughs> One of today's good news stories comes from our friends at the Miami Police Department from uh, Officer Chuck Kelly, who got a letter from a man in Minnesota who had heard about the actions of an elderly Miami woman. Now, to recap the story briefly, we may all remember about the 71-year-old woman who became annoyed on a bus because a teenager blew smoke in her face. Oh, I do. She had an mace or something. She, she ran down the aisle spraying him with mace yeah. and accidentally maced a few other People. Oh, <laughs> anyway, well, it seems, of course, the story went all over the United States. It was picked up by radio stations and TV stations and newspapers all over the country. Well, it seems a gentleman in, uh, in Minnesota read the story. And uh, he had tried very hard to get in touch with the lady, but all he had for an address was of Carroll City. Uh huh. So, of course, that was the only address he had instead of just Miami. But anyway, so what he finally did, he noticed that uh, Officer Kelly's name was in the story. So he sent a letter to Officer Kelly asking for his help in delivering this little message here, which I'm going to pass along, and you're going to love it. Oh, all right. Uh, the gentleman's letter began, Dear Madeline Howard, congratulations for having the guts to do what you did. Maybe if more of us had a bit of spunk, we'd have a better world. That punk will think twice before he does that again. All right. This is to help buy another can of mace or a box of candy for you. Your friend in St. Paul, Minnesota, Ralph Schmidt. Mr. Schmidt had enclosed a check for $5, and police saw to it that the letter and the check reached Mrs. Howard. Now, isn't that nice? Well, I you think know, that's lovely. At any age, that's courageous, but at uh, 70? 71 years 71, old. 71, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Just a little grandmotherly lady. Yeah. And uh, I thought that was really sweet, and I thought everybody would enjoy sharing that story. Darn it's right. It's really cute. And, uh, oh, there's some bad news from Austria. Oh, dear. The choir director says Austrian child labor laws have silenced the famous Vienna Boys Choir for the Christmas season. What? <laughs> he says someone discovered that the law prohibits holiday work by school children under 15, so the Viennese will have to go without the traditional Christmas caroling by the choir. You know, it was founded almost 500 years ago. It's probably that same lady who stopped the prayers and uh, the uh, 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 Pledge of Allegiance in schools and everything else. Madeline? Yes. Mm hmm. We have another Christmas gift suggestion mm -hmm. for you today. Oh. I'm mad about it. Oh, oh, let's get over be the Vienna happy. Boy Choir. Oh, yeah, yeah, get over that one, then we'll worry about the other one. Mm -hmm. You know, yesterday we had a, an 11 foot pole as a gift suggestion for. I do recall. You know, I will not go through that because it's got too many booze. Mm -hmm. Well, in case you're wondering what to give your favorite jogging buff for Christmas, why not a silver tipped jogging stick to fend off toothy terriers? <laughs> silver tipped jogging stick. Yeah, there's a Pennsylvania jewelry store that has come out with this. And they, said, they say it's a big success. And uh, it was conceived by a designer who had seen people running with sticks in their hands, apparently to ward off pesky pooches and mm -hmm. careless cars and contemptuous people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not bad. I think it's kind of cute. Too. It sure beats an 11 foot pole for people who wouldn't touch something with a 10-foot well, sure. pole. And... If you got a stick, you can really beat it. <laughs> okay, and that's today's good news, your bigness.